mostly raised corn, soybeans, and some wheat. Um, a little bit of hay also. I like to put the hay on the rougher ground to try to help conserve the soil a little better. I also raise cows. Um, I've got about 40 head of my own, and I also own some with another person. And the cattle also work well on this rougher farmland. Corn I haul to the river terminal mostly would go probably out of the United States. It goes down the Mississippi and out of the port of New Orleans. And I also haul to, in, to an inland elevator and, and most of that would stay in the United States. It goes to an ethanol plant, also a corn processing facility. I have um, a yield monitor with mapping capabilities in my combine. And um, I've just purchased, last year I purchased a planter that has variable rate technology for planting, which I plan on using this year. This is the Beeler family tradition to cook apple butter. We have a 30 gallon copper kettle this is the same kettle my great-grandparents used. Probably the same recipe, I suppose. We peel the apples the night before. It takes uh, six bushel apples. And we start out with three gallon of cider and two or three gallon of water and heat that in your kettle. It's a continual stirring job. You never stop stirring or it will stick to the bottom of the kettle. We always have plenty of help. Everybody wants to stir. We usually end up with about 130 pints of apple butter from six bushel of apples. Whole family gets involved. Everybody kind of looks forward to it, even though it is a lot of hard work. It means a lot to me to, to um, to work on a century farm and have it still in the family. It, it's, just, it's just really nice to think about your grandparents and great grandparents using the same buildings and the same house and having their livestock there and you're walking right where they walk even though you, that I, I didn't know my great grandparents. And um, it's just nice to know, to, to be able to work where they did. My son is 17 and he, he would love to come back and farm. The preceding generation has to help the next generation along to get their interest started. I helped my dad at any time I could. I would have, I would have quit school probably if they'd have let me. But I did go on and get a college bachelor's degree, which really did help me a lot, more than I really expected. I always wanted to farm and I was, I was lucky to be able to do that. 